Hello, welcome back. As you can see, I put the the track together. It's a little bit longer than the train, the actual train, by about probably 30 or 40 mil, uh, not mil, centimetres, which is quite a lot really. Underneath, as you can see, as I did on the last last tra uh, railway track that I put together, I've strengthened the joints. Instead of putting a piece of fibre board underneath all the way along, which gets a little bit expensive, I've put strengtheners between each but each joint, across each joint. And what I've used are lollipop sticks. You can buy a hundred for less than a quid, any craft shop sells them. And a little bit of super glue, glued the thing together as, as per the instructions, then push those into place and put half a stick across all the way along and that's so that the sleepers don't go in too far. In the kit the sleepers come as a, a, as a complete set all joined together. But what I found on the first set of tracks that I put together on the, on the um, Carl Moser mortar was that if you put them in in the fashion that it says on the instructions then the track itself is too low the sleepers are too low to feed the track in along here and it, it just doesn't loop right so what I've done is I've put them off and made them into individual sleepers cut all these off and then painted them and then put them in from the top so that the bottom of the sleeper sits on that lollipop stick on the bottom there and then when it's glued into place I glued them from the back here which is much easier than gluing them from the front you don't get any glue stains on your paint then and the fixed it's simple as that the paint that I've used for the sleepers I first of all painted them with a German red brown then I went over them with a burnt umber and rubbed a little bit off a little bit of the paint off with um, a little bit of thinners which gave me quite a timber effect if I can get it in a little bit closer there and it looks to me it looks quite really realistic I also then put a black wash black and brown wash down the sides and down the centre where the, the, the oil grease and grime would collect on a real railway. Down the sides here I painted it uh, with a NATO green mixed with a very fluorescent green of a soft pastel and that's come out I think really quite well as a, as a mouldy section on the on the sides of a little used track. The top of the track I painted with AK True Metal, Whoop, where are we? There we are. AK True Metal, and that's a steel, steel colour, which is there we go. AK four five seven steel, and that's a wax based paint. And basically, I put it on with a cotton bud. You can then shine it up, even with your finger, and it'll come up much shinier, and it'll look like bright steel. I'm also going to use that on the wheels of the, I don't know where I put that over there. Also going to use that on the wheels of the train. And that is about it. I've got some of the train done here. I'll do a video of it in a minute or two. And you can see the, the size difference. The track and the train. There's quite a big difference there. I know I've only got the, the engine done there. But the tender should come to about here. And there's quite a lot of track over. The sides of this, this display mount if you like, are painted matte black. It takes a lot of sanding to get it so that it's, it's reasonably presentable because the joints just don't fit together really that well. Other than that, that's done. I'm quite happy with that. And I'm sure you would be too. The little, uh, the, these things here that the track sits on are called chairs and the track itself 
I've painted with a rust colour again started off with the, the German red brown and then speckled it with burnt umber I've also used a mix of orange and blue which comes out as quite a, a, an effective thin rust if you like street rust that's gone over it you can't see it too well on the video but it's there thanks for watching any questions any comments please leave them in the boxes below and it'd be great if you could like and subscribe see you next time ta -da.